as much as possible. You gotta remember back then, no cell phones, no any portable recording devices, you know. And a VCR camera was 45 pounds and it was the size of a moving box. But um, these guys are being very polite about it. Uh, the question was, where'd you get the stuff? Most of it we took. We really did. Because we didn't want it to go anywhere. We didn't want anybody to, to do anything. So it was Joe Gerber's to go, job to go get it. And well, if we found out, the rest of us would back them up and say, I yeah, we should give that. that to me. Yeah, that's how it went. We got another question over here. Hi there. Uh, my name is Andy Blinn, and I'm such a huge fan of Twisted Sister. So um, I got to say, that movie really was so awesome. So anyways, I'm kind of young to notice that, um, even though I kind of grew up listening to Twisted Sister music, and um, such a huge fan of Dee Snyder. I used to have really long hair like these way back in the day. There was a lot of people behind it, but let me tell you, it was, for us, it was fighting a war. We got up on stage every night in those clubs, and, and we did our jobs, and we did a great job, as everybody, a lot of people here saw it, but let me tell you, it was a, it was clawing every inch to try to get signed and become a, a professional band outside of those clubs. I would say the nights were heartwarming and the days were heartbreaking. Uh, over a very long period of time because the frustrations that you never knew about, the constant rejections, we were turned down more times than a bed sheet in a whorehouse. So the bottom line is, is that the constant negativity, the constant eating at, at you um, developed character. But I, you know, I, I say this to people and they say, well, it developed your character. No, it really exposed character because it really shows when, when the chips are down, when your back is against the wall and you have no hope, um, what, you, what happens at that moment, and it happened with so many of our moments, was we kept fighting back and it exposed the, the, the latent character that we had, which was never give up, never give up. And I'll say this too, since every band believes they're important, and, and I get that, and it's, every band busts their ass to a greater, lesser, greater degrees. But I will say this about Twisted Sister. If you look at the Beatles Stones, who's that Floyd, Queen, Kiss, Priest, Scorpions, Except for the Beatles, every one of those bands was signed probably within six to 12 months of them starting their band. The Beatles were around three years prior, they busted their ass in Hamburg, and everyone talks about, oh, how they busted their ass in Hamburg, yeah, I feel for them. Look, I happen to be a huge Beatles fan. None of those bands, not even the Beatles, would have lasted 10 years. And that is what makes the story so interesting. That's what makes this story so great. And by the way, just so you know, when people talk about the classic periods of time that bands support bands, they talk about the Cavern Club, all the people that support the Beatles, they talk about the San Francisco scene that supported the Grateful Dead and the airplane. Our fans, our fans saw something that will never be seen again. They saw a club circuit that will never happen again. The drinking age will never be that way again, ever. And you saw a band that put their desperation and soul on the line more than any other band and fought for it. And as Dee pointed out in that opening video, we are proud of you all for staying with us and allowing us to continue to live our dream. I cannot impress that enough. Thank you. One of the new records may not break. Now, you you got to take it home and play it. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. So he uses a frisbee in the parking lot, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you gotta say. What has happened to you? Oh my god. What where is the JJ that I know? Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Hey listen everybody. Was the movie entertaining? Did you get it? Andrew Hoy, ladies and gentlemen.